Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to introduce you to Gen 3 Alpha. This is an update to the course. Now, the movies that we generated, the movie that we created inside of the course, the short movie as it were, was actually created using Gen 2. Okay, how about if we create a movie or not a movie, but we create a couple of scenes using Gen 3 Alpha. Gen 3 Alpha has been released and it's by far the closest thing to Sora AI. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and check it out right now. So I'm going to go and click try Gen 3 Alpha on their website and you can basically get click on get started so that you can get started using Runway ML's Gen 3 Alpha. And as you can see here, we are inside and you can type in whatever it is that you want to type. Or you can actually click this particular guide, which is going to take us to the guide that helps you uh, basically write great prompts. And they have even some sample prompts that you can utilize. Okay. Uh, and you can basically simulate uh, the results. Right. Now, what I would like you to do is to copy this particular page right here of this guide and go back to chat GPT for a second and ask it to learn from this guide and and once you're done and once you are done say yes and you can type in the link to the guide in which case it's going to go ahead and learn from this guide and once it's done it's going to say yes which is good so after it says yes what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to say now based on the, let's just say prompt engineering strategies from that guide, write a simple prompt for me to generate a video of a dragon on Gen 3 Alpha. Keep it short and follow the guide all of it so in other words what i'm asking you to do here is the guide is in front of you i want you to go ahead and to basically give me the details so as you can see it says here is a simple prompt to generate a video of dragon da, da, da. all right Create high definition video of majestic dragon all right instead of saying video i'm going to say well remove the keywords video and create this is Gen 3 Alpha. So write the prompt already. Because with Gen 3 Alpha, with Gen 2, you don't talk to them like this. You don't say generate a video or you just describe what you want to generate. So here, Majestic Dragon flying over a mountain range. Well, this is good, but I want something special. I'm going to say I want something special, like, like a close-up of the dragon face showing his eyes and and majestic nature this needs to be special you see and i can hit enter in which case this is going to go and generate so close up of majestic dragon's face focusing on its eyes with intricate scales and powerful majestic presence all right so now i'm going to say you did not all right Actually, I'm going to say the dragon is golden and his eye is green. So let's take that into perspective as well. And I'm going to go and copy this prompt now. It's, it's, it's good. And I'd like you to paste it here. So for better results, for better results, please do not go with 10 seconds. Go with five. And by the way, you will consume a lot of credits with Gen 3 Alpha. So for every, every one second, you consume 10 credits. So... Just so you know, I'm going to click generate. It's now putting it in queue and it will generate this scene. So it will cost you if you want to create a, a, a trailer using Gen 2, Gen 3. But if let's say you're releasing a game or you want to create a trailer for a movie or something like this, then Gen 3 Alpha is your friend. So now it's generating. All I need to do is wait. All right. So th this basically was the result that came out. Uh, I'm not going to say it's really great. It's not too bad actually it's it's pretty good but it could be better so i'm going to go ahead and try a different prompt and this would say golden dragon close-up focusing on its 
green and intricate. Uh, actually, well, instead of focusing, we can say with with its green intricate scales. Actually, green eye and, and golden scales, uh, majestic social presence. Well, actually, let's just remove these things. We're gonna say majestic golden dragon and golden scales. Okay, majestic golden dragon with his with his mouth with his teeth showing actually let's say razor sharp teeth showing and let's hit generate another time so that it gives us a different result and you'll see that with different prompts you get different results but the bottom line is that you can get decent results with less now as you can see this dragon looks more like a let's just say a hybrid between a dragon and a horse but i could actually blame it on the prompt but you can see the scales you can see it's not looking so terrible but now let's just wait for this other result all right so here we have another one now let me go ahead click so that we can watch and you can see that right now this looks significantly different it doesn't look too bad i gotta say but at that last moment when his eyes actually turned to the other side i think that's where it, it, it's not looking really great but you can literally see that this is real right it's really good now i'm going to actually try an animal that we know like the tiger which i'm quite a huge fan of so i'm going to i'm going to say majestic tiger or close-up of a tiger or close-up of a majestic tiger close-up of a majestic tiger in the snow and then i could click generate in which case it's going to go and proceed to generate the video of a majestic tiger now the second one was a uh, as you can see a much bigger improvement so that tells you that uh improvement depends on your prompt and you can do well to read this guide right so this guide will provide you with as much as possible so that you can write better prompts to get better results and as you can see here this is really some interesting stuff you can even generate graffitis all right and you can try some of their prompts because they're really uh they're well done actually and if you try them you can get some results just like them all right so for instance here what do we have we have this one continuous hyperspeed of 50 footage the camera seamlessly flies through a glazed canyon dreamy landscape all right so they give us a couple of prompts and now we have the video of the tiger right so as you can see when 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 it comes to generating uh normal animals that we know it really gives uh, much better results all right so as opposed to a dragon for example and i mean i mean if you if you look at this for the first time i really honestly would think that you would think this is real right you, you would not you would not think this is not real you'd say whoa hold on this is real it, because it really does look real and so that's pretty much that by the way the tiger looks really beautiful here uh of course i mean it looks beautiful from the camera but i'm i'm not gonna, <laughs> i'm not gonna say that if we're there with him it's absolutely not gonna be good uh but it's absolutely amazing and magnificent now we can try another one so i'm gonna go in close up of a majestic wolf actually i'm gonna go for black wolf in the snow and we can sum up with that one really good really good uh, video of a tiger absolutely amazing i really do love it now the one with the dragon um i could have prompted it differently and it would have been much better right so i'm actually going to go and do it right now while this is being rendered i'm going to say close up of a majestic let's just say black dragon and we can generate that one as well and basically try to get some decent results instead of what we got all right so we got the video of the wolf which also e looks equally good and you can see that uh most people would not really think twice they probably think that this is real not fake they'll think this is absolutely real 
and it really does look real. And you can add more. So you can say close-up of a fierce wolf instead of just a close-up of a wolf. And this is exactly what a wolf would do. You know, if you know wolves, they usually stand, they don't move that much when they're staring, you know. And that's one of the, the key things. I mean, I, I don't know I, I don't know if you know this about them, but when they stare something, they usually, they just continuously look like this. And they usually only move their eyes very, you know, a, a very small, subtle movement, you know. But they just freeze in, in some kind of way. They focus. Uh, them and cats in the same way. Now, I guess that we're not really going to get our dragon because <laughs> we've been getting some really uh, horrible videos of dragons here all right <laughs> no it's not really good absolutely not as I, I think they were not trained on dragons they're probably the model with trained on real animals real things for example look at the tiger look at the wolf and look at the dragon and, and you make the decision so the bottom line is that is this tool great absolutely it's absolutely great is it better than gen 2 it's i, th I think at least 10 times better than gen 2 but it's a lot, it consumes a lot more than Gen 2 at the same time. So, but can it create really good tutorial, really good videos, really good movies? Absolutely, yes. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next update.